crazy conspiracy accuses Roseanne of selling her soul to protect Trump by Carmine Sabia, Entertainment Politics for MadWorldNews.com. White House correspondent April Ryan uh, stooped lower than anyone could have predicted when she accused President Donald Trump of one of the most horrid crimes imaginable. It got worse when Roseanne Barr was dragged into it and accused of selling her soul. Playing on the feigned media outrage of the hashtag where are the children hashtag campaign this weekend, Ryan tweeted a headline that accused the president of running a child sex ring. Is the Trump administration running a child sex trafficking, uh, trafficking ring or nah? Follow me down the rabbit hole, the headline of a story written by The Roots uh, ja uh, Jason Johnson read, The Root is an African-American uh, news organization that is decidedly anti-Trump. The report was a parody in that it did not actually accuse the president of running a uh, child sex ring, but attacked the president's supporters, arguing that if 1,500 children were missing during a Democrat's administration, those on the right would have been making those accusations of them. The controversy started on April 26 when the New York Times reported that a top official with the Department of Health and Human Services told members of Congress on Thursday that the agency had lost track of nearly 1,500 migrant children. It placed with sponsors in the United States raising concerns that could end up in the hands of human traffickers or be used as laborers by people posing as relatives. As former Senator Rick Santorum explained on CNN State of the Union on Sunday, the controversy is much uh, ado about nothing, noting that the policy of sometimes separating children from illegal aliens uh, who are attempting to sneak into America is a process that has been going on for a long time and for various administration. Santorium, hyperbole to say missing migrant kids are lost. Reports emerged this week of migrant parents being unable to find uh, their children, some of their children uh, who have been separated because the parents were taken to be prosecuted. 1,500 of the children were separated from their parents. Patty Solis Doyle, what do you think is going on here? Well, it's a tragedy, number one, and it is unspeakably cruel. You know, these parents are coming with their children because they're uh, trying to escape some hor horror that they're facing in their own country. They're coming to save their kids. They're met with criminal prosecution. Their children are being torn away, and now we're finding that our government has lost these children. Where are the kids? Um, as a mom, I am, I mean, I just can't think about a child, a four-year-old in a different country with strangers and now uh, vulnerable to human trafficking, vulnerable to abuse, and there is nothing that these parents can do. So I think that the president should use every resource at his disposal to find these kids and make sure that they're safe and tell us that they're safe. Is this an unintended, unintended consequence no, of I, I don't think it is. I think this is policy. a process that's been going on a long time. What, what happens is these children come into detention. There is a vetting process of who these children are assigned to. It's not just 1,400 children. It's a much larger group of kids. And they're, they are assigned to sponsors in this country who, who, who go through a process to be able to qualify to be sponsors. These, these children are placed in them, and what happened is there were, again, thousands more than the 1,500 you're talking about, that they follow up with a lot of these, they, they follow up to find out where these children are, how they're doing, and what they found is that 1,500 of them somehow, these sponsors and the kids sort of are off the radar. They haven't checked in, they haven't been able to find them. Now, the, the reality is a lot of these sponsors are, in, in many cases, <clears throat> have, uh, you know, they've been checked out, but 
they may have other reasons for not uh, for not communicating or or, or or dropping off the system. So this isn't a, this isn't you know well we've lost these kids. No, they were placed in vetted homes, uh, and for some reason or another, these parents are not are not. If they're not lost, not what are they? Where are they? If the, they're not lost. They're, the, the question is, they haven't had communication with the, these these previously vetted sponsors. Uh, does that mean that they're lost? No, that means that there is a process that's going on right now to try to find why these why these sponsors haven't checked back in to to to, uh, to give us our location. But the idea that the hundred percent of these sponsors are going to check in, of course, that's never going to be the case. There's always going to be problem. People move. They don't feel, oh, you know, we don't have to check in anymore. You know, we've, we've gone someplace else. So the idea that they're quote lost, I think, is an overestimate, uh, is is a is hyperbole to try to to try to create an issue. Why I don't really think there is one, other than the fact that the bureaucracy if surprise you don't surprise think doesn't work that very well. Fifteen hundred children being lost is not an issue. Then there's there's something. I don't think. I, I think the idea that they're lost, they are placed with families that have been previously. And the government vetted. has said they have lost track of them. That's another word for lost. Yeah. That 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 doesn't mean that these kids are out. That there, there are logical explanations. And, and I, again, we're talking about a government system, and we all know Bill and I will sit here forever and tell you how in, in, inadequate a lot of these government agencies are at doing a lot of things. I mean, we we lose people all the time, and a lot of other government let me, programs. Let, let, me, let me just bring in some some. It's not just Democrats who are saying this. Conservatives also have been outspoken about being upset about this. Eric Erickson, who's a conservative writer, he said. Something quite graphic, but he said, pro-lifers, if you're upset about ripping a child out of, out of his mother's womb, please be upset about ripping a child out of his mother's arms at the border. Responding to illegal acts with evil acts is not the way of a moral people. Amen. Look, I mean, this was an explicit policy decision by the president. We have, in fact, reporting that the president pushed the Secretary of, uh, of Homeland Security to implement this policy, and Attorney General Sessions was for this, too, as a deterrent to mothers or families bringing young children across the border. So that's a policy decision by the president. Uh, I don't think it's to, I wouldn't defend it, but he made that decision. Uh, the issue is less the, so that there's that. Then there's the question of these kids who uh, the Department of uh, H DHS has lost track of. But I think, yes, I mean, so Rick gave it the most reasonable sort of semi-defense of the situation, which is more than the administration has done. And if, if this happened in any normal administration, the president would put out a statement saying, we don't know, quite know what's happened here. We're looking into it as fast as we can. I've ordered the Secretary of Homeland Security to give me a report by Monday morning. The Secretary of Homeland Security will be on television saying, we care a lot about these kids. We want to make sure this is okay. Congress will be having hearings and deciding whether to pass legislation. But what's most striking, we'll see if Congress does something when they get back. I think they should. But what's striking is the president doesn't mind the story, I think, actually, right. because it makes him look tough on immigration. Right. There's no pushback. Rick pushed back, but there's no pushback from the administration on these very Other than he's also, and, and can I just say, he's also, he and his uh, colleagues are also slamming Democrats, uh, saying that this started out as a Democratic policy. We've done a fact check. That's not exactly true, but that is certainly the, the it's, it's, right, thank you, it's more bipartisan. But it's, this is stunningly immoral and cruel. So whoever started it, this president and this administration has the power to stop it. And to Bill's point about this president going the extra step through policy and the fact that we're having, that, that some, particularly him, has a cavalier attitude, I want all of us to put ourselves in the place of those mothers or those fathers or as Patty was saying, we're both mothers. I mean, I can't even dream of a situation where my son would be torn uh, from my arms. With all due respect, these way. parents but, are putting their children in peril still, by, I mean, by, by, by putting them they're, in, they're in they're trying to escape the border. peril. They're, they're, they're trying they to escape peril. Not, you don't know their situation. Yeah, some may be, some, some it may just be an economic issue. There may be all sorts of Listen, reasons people To me, that's not the point anymore. It is the moral. No, the point is that because you want to discourage that behavior. The point is that we have children's lives at stake here. But the parents are putting their children's lives that, that's Let's get to the, the bottom point, line. No, the here. point is the that parents no, are putting the these children that in America danger has by doing a moral doing. obligation right. to those kids yeah. that are that is larger the moral than what the parent The moral done. obligation is to deter that type of activity. That, and the children be damned. The children not be damned. You can deter them at some point. You can deter the children's responsibility for their children. We're going to use the children as a pawn. At some point, parents have to take responsibility. Go ahead. You want to one can believe some of these parents, some of these parents may be behaving irresponsibly. One can also believe that it's a matter 
parent policy, it is unwise and cruel yes. to take their kids away from them. And there are other ways you can punish. We take kids away right. from parents who do illegal acts all the time. And we put parents in jail. We don't lose. We're not losing anything. Exactly right. I guarantee what you, you, is for I guarantee you Patty, that some millions, of these parents are Millions of kids asylum. over the course of this oh country God. whose parents have been put in jail have been, quote, lost in the system. And you know that to be we true. We can't justify this. I think I, it cannot be justified. And this president is going the extra mile should there to push this narrative. Should there be? I wish you had the outrage for parents no. who are jailed as much as you have outrage for what's going on here. Yeah. I'm, I'm all Harris. I have outrage for. I have outrage. outrage about a whole bunch of stuff. So if we want to go down that line, we can. Okay. Kamala Harris is calling for members of the administration to come up and testify about this. Is there any doubt in any of your minds that that's going to happen? It should happen. And Congress has, in this, as in so many other instances, has power, you know, Congress can say, this should not be the policy, this policy is not prohibited. Right. Little kids should be kept with their parents, they can be disciplined together, they can be held together right. in a detention facility if that's the right thing to do while their claims of asylum or their claims of refugee status or their claims to be able to immigrate mm -hmm. are adjudicated. These are, this is what Congress is supposed to do. And it's another case where, I mean, I'd be very curious to see when they get back, and if I were a Democrat in Congress, particularly a Republican who agreed with this, I would insist on action Absolutely. fast, not a hearing. Yeah. I mean, why don't they just change the policy? It's not that hard. All right, everybody, thank you for that incredibly lively discussion. It is a very tough issue, um, but I think we all agree that the kids are the most important thing, yeah. whatever the policy is. Thank you so much. Well, what happens is that these children come into detention. There is a vetting process of who these children are assigned to. Rick Santorum said they are assigned to sponsors in this country who go through a process to be able to qualify to be sponsors. These children are placed with them, thousands more than 1,500 you were talking about. They follow up to find out where these children are and how they are doing and what they found is 1500 of them somehow these sponsors and the kids sort of are off the radar they haven't checked in they haven't been able to find them okay uh so but democrats uh seized on the missing children to promote the idea that the, there is a child sex ring run uh, by President Donald Trump and others using migrant children. April Ryan was not the first to pose the theory. Uh, Roseanne Barr's ex-husband, Tom Arnold, wrote on Twitter, of course Roseanne Barr and James Woods are worried about one lunatic conspiracy idiot and none of the 1,500 children ICE lost some to human trafficking because they are brown and that would offend Trump and Roseanne lost her soul for Trump. Isn't that nice? She, she's tweeting about free Tommy Robinson, whatever it, that is. Woods has his undies in a bunch about it too. Uh, Stacy Scott there, Tom Arnold. Tom Arnold is using Roseanne Barr's popularity and the popularity of her hit show Roseanne in a desperate attempt to attack the president and to keep himself relevant. Yeah, that's true. Barr has long been an advocate for women and children, but Arnold would not resist the opportunity to seize on a ridiculous conspiracy theory to defame uh, his far more successful ex. Someone should tell Arnold that regardless of what he ever does, he will forever be most famous for being Roseanne's ex. True. But um, here that uh, the idea that they are lost is, I think, a hyperbole to try to create an issue where I don't really think there is one other than the bureaucracy. Surprise, surprise. Doesn't work very well, he said. There are logical explanations, and again, we're ta uh, talking about government system, and we all know how inadequate a lot of these government agencies are at doing a lot of things. We lose people all the time in a lot of other government programs. The guy was saying they've lost children under Obama, too, and a lot of times, but the only time they're speaking up is because Trump is uh, in office. That's why they're speaking up. This has been going on forever. And uh, you know what the thing is? I say, you know, don't separate the, uh, that was a wrong move. 
because you know what? They're Democrats working against Trump. That's why they lost the kids. You see what I'm saying? They're trying to set Trump up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Trump has nothing to do with this garbage. He's trying to end this kind of garbage. He's trying to end immigration and he's trying to stop all the, the abuses that are taking place in the process. So the Democrats are the number one culprits in this. If you want to find the culprits in this, look no further. Find out who these people are representing. When the kids go lost, find out what their political beliefs are. And you'll most likely find that they're Democrats. And that's why they intentionally didn't uh, respond to the people when they're asking, when they're asking the information about, uh, you know, they're asking about the information they didn't respond in to the agency to respond back. Those are the people. This is all a setup, folks. This is nothing but a setup to uh, uh, to bash Trump and anybody that supports Trump. But if uh, now in hindsight, yes, uh, Trump should uh, ne not do something like that. Put them all together and ship them out. And that's that, you know, don't take responsibility when you're talking about kids because it's a very big responsibility uh, to place on yourself. But, you know, they're attacking Trump for everything. How, how's the guy going to think? And who, who knows who uh, told Trump to do it? Maybe another culprit to set him up. You know what I'm saying? You know, Trump has so many things to do. He's going to babysit too. So the idiots that are, in, that are is, uh, you know, let's say Trump comes up with an idea. The other people uh, working for Trump, they don't have the uh, common sense uh, to say, you know what, maybe we shouldn't separate the kids from the parents because, you know, if something happens, you're going to be held responsible. If You know what I'm saying? No, uh, it's not Trump. And uh, tell them to get off their high horse because a lot more than that has gone missing under the Democrats. And I'm not going to go into that story about Hillary the Witch Clinton. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.